It's interesting about wanting to fit in. I've always wanted to not fit in. You know, I've never, you know, when, when for example, when pop art was popular, I was doing like the, probably one could describe it as the extreme opposite. And when abstract expressionism, I was never an abstract painter because the second I got close to it, I found out I was decorating the canvas rather than dealing with issues that I described before. What I mean by decorating is all of a sudden you look at the canvas, well it needs a little blue in the corner, a little to balance that, to do that. And that for me became decoration rather than, you know, structural painting. So that never interested me. So I've always tried to tread that, you know, that, that line between abstraction and figuration, where aesthetic concerns always dominate, so that, you know, all the rules of sort of imagistic painting are violated, as well as, you know, if there is such a thing as abstract painting, meaning keeping things on the picture plane and all that other stuff I was told when I was in graduate school. I tried to violate all those rules on purpose. So I'm always trying to find my spot and, and I mean my spot, as opposed to sort of being part of a movement. And in the art world, you, you lose out because of that, because people want categories that they could fit you into, and like, you know, this gallery shows abstract expressionism, this gallery shows, you know, realism, this, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And if you tread that you know, line in between all that, you often pay a price for it.